Hello, everyone. You've heard public health officials and myself say many times that we need to flatten the curve or plank it. But what does that actually mean? Well, when we talk about the curve, we're talking about the number of people who get sick over a certain period of time. Our chief public health officer, Dr. Tam, and other public health officials across the country and around the world are tracking this information and mapping it out. When a lot of people get sick in a short period of time, the curve rises faster. If that happens, it's more likely that we'll surpass the level at which the healthcare system will be overwhelmed. No matter how good our system is, there's always a limit to how many people our healthcare system can help at one time, from the number of nurses, doctors, and healthcare professionals to the number of available beds and equipment. That's why we need to urgently slow the number of people getting infected. That's why we need to flatten the curve. At the same time, governments are working to ramp up the capacity of our healthcare system. We're investing more than $2 billion to get more of the critical gear like ventilators, gloves, and other personal protective equipment to frontline healthcare workers. And across the country, doctors and nurses are coming out of retirement to help. But that increase in capacity will take time. So the slower that curve rises, the better the chance of not crossing the threshold. So we need you to keep doing your part. Stay at home. Wash your hands. If you've returned from abroad, you're in quarantine and you need to self-isolate at home. And if you have to go out, remember to stay two meters away from others. As more of us continue to do these things, we will flatten the curve. But we also have to remember that COVID-19 can take up to two weeks after infecting someone for them to show any symptoms. So the effects of self-isolating can only be seen on the curve a few weeks after we've all started doing it. That's why we're asking everyone to keep staying home. If we want to be okay in the coming weeks, then, as Dr. Tam says, we have to act now. Every Canadian has a role to play in planking the curve. And if we all work together right now, we can make sure that all those who need the help of our healthcare professionals will get it. I know that together we can and we will get through this.